Shout out to the WTC game. We really are the chosen ones. They mess with the wrong person. And now they are terrified and cursed for trying the divine one. The Bible says, touch not my anointed one. Do my prophet no harm. And I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones, they did you wrong. They really, really wanted you six feet deep and under. But I'm here to tell you right now that no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. Now, as you look back over your life, the same people that came after you destroyed them too. The same people after you, chosen ones, is in the same predicament you was in. God had to isolate you from these people who you thought they had your back. But I'm here to tell you right now that as long as you got King Jesus, you don't need them fake, phony people. You got to learn to put your whole trust in the Lord. Because I'm here to tell you right now, you can't trust nobody. Now they are terrified and cursed. They scratching their head and they ads at the same time. They don't know what to do because they already know that God is getting ready to punish them. Understand what I'm saying? And all you did was treat people with love. All you did was treat people with kindness. All you did was treat people with respect. And they still show you that they didn't respect you. I'm here to tell you right now. Continue to press towards the mark. Because God is going to send somebody that's going to show you love unconditionally. God is going to send you somebody that's going to respect you. And that's going to treat you like a true divine being. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below. And say put some respect on my name. I am God's divine being. I am God's chosen vessel. Put some respect on my name. Understand what I'm saying. Don't you let nobody mistreat you in the year of 2023. You done went through hell and hot water in 2022. You done heard every curse word in the book. But I'm here to tell you right now that God is really going to make you the greatest of them all. God is going to turn your life around. God is going to send somebody in your life that's going to get you to the next level. Don't you worry about who mistreated you last year. Because let me tell you something. We have to learn how to leave people behind us. We got to learn how to leave people in the past. Because they can't go to where God is taking you. They can't hop on that plane to where God is getting ready to take you. You better get ready to enjoy your vacation. You better get ready to enjoy this abundance. You better get ready to enjoy this paper. Because I'm here to tell you right now, greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. It's just you against the world. It's you versus the world. It's you versus everybody in this cold ass world. But I'm here to tell you right now, if God is for you, can nobody be against you? Learn how to keep on putting on the whole arm of God so you can withstand the fiery darts coming from the devil himself. Aren't you tired of being abused? Aren't you tired of being misused? Aren't you tired of being mistreated? Aren't you tired of being tried? Don't you try me, devil. Go back to the pits of field to where you belong. And as you look back over your life, the same people that tried you, the same people that really had plots and plans against your destiny, look where they at right now. Doing the same thing. Wearing the same clothes. Living the same place. Got the same devilish, jealous spirit. Don't you tell me what my God won't do. You have to go through that season in order to get to the next elevation of your life. You have to go through that turmoil. You have to go through that disrespect. You got to go through that setback in order for God to bring you to that next generation, to the new level. Understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? If God uh, is for you, let me tell you something right now. Can none of your fake family members and your so-called friends be against you? So it don't even matter what they have done. Because it made you the chosen one. It don't matter what tricks they got up their sleeves. Let me tell you something. Weapons may form, but they will not prosper. Understand what I'm saying? Don't you be afraid to put it in the comments below. And say, Lord, I thank you for protecting me. 
during the setback. Lord, I thank you for keeping me safe through in the rejection. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for just loving me and rocking me in the cradle of your arms when people show their true hate towards me. Lord, I just want to say thank you. This is your year to win. This is your year to get everything that you have lost. This is your year to really tell the Lord, I'm going to worship you and spit it in the truth. And I'm not going to let no rejection get in the way of me serving you. I'm not going to let nothing get in the way of me giving you the glory. I'm not going to let nothing from me getting to that next level. Because I know that you got my back. I know that you're going to do great and mighty things for me. I know that you're going to do what you said you're going to do. And don't you think without a shadow of a doubt that the Lord going to leave you. Don't you think without a shadow, a shadow of a doubt that the Lord is going to forsake you. And I'm here to tell you right now, you put on that whole, whole armor of God and you will stand every dart. And I'm telling you, you're going to get to that next level. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.